Halo, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nabila Rahman Shafiqo and I'm going to explain about three stage of interpretation meaning in semantics and pragmatics. So, the essential difference between sentences and utterances is that sentences are abstract, not tied to context, where, where, whereas utterances are identified by their context. This is also the main way of distinguish between semantics and pragmatics. If you are dealing with meaning and there's no context to consider, then you are doing semantics. But if there is a context to be brought into consideration, then you are engaged in pragmatics. Okay, semantics is the study of sentence meaning and word meaning, while pragmatics is the study of utterance meaning. <coughs> The first stage is a literal meaning, which is semantics interpretation. And the second and third are explicature and implicature, which are which is pragmatics interpretation. That was the last box. The literal meaning of a sentence is based on just the semantic information that you have from your knowledge of English. Among the things that people who know English should be able to explain about the meaning of that was the last bus are the following, something salient that is equated at an earlier time was is a past tense form to either the vinyl less or the most recent last bus. The meaning is available without wondering who might say or write the words, when or where. The consideration of context is involved. An explicator is a basic interpretation of an utterance using contextual information and world knowledge to work out what is being referred to and which way to understand ambiguous expressions, such as the word less. Two possible contexts for using an utterance based on the sentence with two different implications. Firstly, for example, Ben sends a text message to Ben. Oh, means 10 p.m. in bus. And Ben responds, that was the last bus. In this situation, Ben's replay can probably be interpreted as the meaning, that was the final bus on tonight's schedule, going to where I know you were intending to travel. <coughs> Secondly, Charlie sends to the driver of a bus stop to pull out a busy terminus. Some of these buses go via Portobello. Is this one of them? The driver's hurried reply is, that was the last bus, probably interpretable as the previous bus that departed from here was one of those that goes via Porto Bell. <clears throat> These explicatures of utterances go beyond the literal meaning of the sentence that was the last bus. They are interpretations based on the linguistic context, Anna's and Charlie's utterances respectively. The, the non-linguistic context, it is late at night in Anna's case, Charlie and the bus driver can both see bus after bus departing. Background knowledge comes in too. Buses generally stop running at some late hour. Ben knows where Anna was going and texts it that Anna knows that she knows, since context has to be considered. This is pragmatics. Context facilitates this ambiguation between the vinyl and previous meanings of less and helps establish what things are referred to when the second individual in each scenarios, scenario uses expression that on the last bus. As with other pragmatic interpretations, there are, are uncertainties over explicature, which is why I use the word probably in both of the previous paragraph. In working out an implication, we go further and ask what is hinted at by an utterance in its particular context, what the sender's agenda is. We will have to know more about the kind of relationship that Anna and Ben have and about Charlie and the look on the driver's face. But if we had been participants in these exchanges, we would have been able to judge fairly confidently whether Ben's reply conveyed a sympathy or a reprimand or an invitation to spend the night at her place, and whether the driver meant to convey annoyance or apology by his response to Charlie. Fairly obviously, the bus driver's answer can be taken as an implicit no in answer to Charlie's question, questions. These are inferences derived by trying to understand in the light of contextual and background information. The point of a sender producing utterances that in context are likely to have particular explications. We cannot forget about the literal meaning of the sentence 
in that was Lesbos because literal meaning is the foundation for explication on which implications are best. But it is important to note that it cannot be plain that the sentence that was Lesbos generally means spend the night at my place or no. Each stage is built on the previous one and we need to develop theories of all three literal meanings, the semantics of sentence in the abstract explicature, the, praxma, the pragmatics of rever reverence and disambiguation, and implicature, the pragmatics of hints. That was all for, that was all of my explanation about three stages of interpretation. I hope it helps you and thank you. See you. Bye bye.